September 25, 2024. Representative Thomas Massey accused Attorney General Merrick Garland on Wednesday of lying during a House Judiciary Committee hearing about his knowledge of federal law enforcement activities during the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot. Massey, Republican from Kentucky, previously tangled with Garland in October 2021 over the same issue, questioning whether undercover FBI agents were present at the storming of the Capitol. At the time, Massey showed video footage of then-Arizona Oath Keepers President Ray Epps, who had urged protesters on the eve of the Stop the Steal rally to go into the Capitol, but had never been charged. The Attorney General had replied he would not comment on pending investigations per Justice Department policy. The January 6th Congressional Committee allegedly falsely claimed it did not have evidence that showed former President Trump's administration requested National Guard assistance, according to a report detailing a hidden transcript that was recently released. Here's a summary based on the key points. In the discussion about the Department of Justice, DOJ, and FBI's handling of the events surrounding January 6th, there's a clear sense of frustration about the lack of transparency and ongoing delays in releasing key information. The Inspector General, IG, confirms that the DOJ's review will include details about confidential human sources, CHS, who were present at the Capitol that day. However, specifics, like how many sources were involved, whether they followed protocols or if they entered the Capitol building, remain undisclosed because the report is still in draft form and must go through a classification review. This review is one reason why the release of the report has been delayed. The speaker in the transcript expresses a growing frustration with the DOJ and FBI's inability to provide answers, especially since the investigation has dragged on for nearly four years, with no resolution in sight even as critical moments like the next election and inauguration draw near. The lack of accountability is a big concern, particularly if there were mistakes made with how confidential sources were used on January 6th. Without the necessary information, it becomes difficult to correct any issues that may have occurred. Another key point of frustration is the FBI's investigation into the pipe bombs discovered on January 6th. The speaker accuses the FBI of losing crucial evidence, including video footage and cell phone data, which has stalled the investigation. The IG doesn't offer any concrete answers about the involvement of confidential sources in this investigation and seems uncertain about where things stand. When it comes to accountability, there's a valid concern about the DOJ and FBI's transparency in their investigations. If confidential sources were indeed present at the Capitol and protocols weren't followed, this would represent a serious oversight. The delays caused by classification reviews and ongoing criminal investigations make it hard for anyone outside the agencies to understand what really happened or to trust that these issues are being addressed. There's also the potential for deception or, at the very least, concealment of important details. The speaker hints that the DOJ and FBI might be deliberately withholding information, citing the lost evidence and vague responses from officials like, I don't recall, or we're still reviewing. This raises red flags about the accountability of these institutions. The timing of the release of the DOJ's report is also problematic. The speaker questions whether the report is being intentionally delayed to avoid political consequences, especially with the upcoming election. Not being able to provide a clear timeline only adds to suspicions of intentional stalling or incompetence. As for the FBI's handling of the pipe bomb investigation, the fact that key evidence has been lost or mishandled suggests either incompetence or a lack of willingness to fully investigate the matter. The speaker even goes so far as to imply that the slow progress might be deliberate, as uncovering the full truth could reveal uncomfortable facts. In conclusion, the transcript highlights significant frustration with how the DOJ and FBI have handled both the use of confidential sources on January 6th and the investigation into the pipe bomb. The delays in releasing key information, especially ahead of important political events, make it seem like there might be efforts to delay or minimize the impact of the findings. Based on the lack of answers, the missing evidence, and the vague language used by officials, there's a reasonable basis to suspect that transparency might never fully be achieved.